Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein, and this is Vehicle Virgins. It rained, which is extremely rare in Southern California. Actually, it downpoured. I don't know when the rain is supposed to stop, but we've got a little break right now. Cars are looking beautiful inside of the garage. In fact, this car belongs to my mom who is visiting. It's been awesome seeing her the last couple of days. Now today, I've got to take this car in for service. My 2018 Mercedes E63 S, I've had it for coming up on a year. I took delivery of it in December in Germany. What an experience that was, ups and downs, and <laughs> it was a blast. Now it's got its year mark, and I've gotta do service A. So let's take it to the dealer and find out what that's all about. I still love this color so much, selenite gray magno. So beautiful. Service overdue by 700 miles. Oops. Look at that, 10,880 miles on her. They get old so fast. Hey, G, it has been a while. We got the white R8 outside. Alex just pulled up in the Raptor and Amir in the other R8. Let's head inside. What's up? What up, dude? How are you? Oh, what up, every dude. Yo. What's up, bro? What are you looking at? I don't get a hug today? No hug today. Oh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. What are you looking at? I'm trying to find BMW, I can't find it. Can you guys help us find BMW? Because it's impossible. I've been looking at this for a solid minute, he has, and we just can't find it. So this is every brand but every BMW? Every brand, there's AC Schnitzer's there. AC Schnitzer's there. Really? Like everything, there's Monsui, there's Rentec, there's Nismo. But there's no BMW. Yeah, so at some point, we there's had Amir staring at this wall for two days. <laughs> we told him we saw it, and he, he literally thought we were all right, guys, help us out here. If you can find BMW, I don't know what you get as a reward, but if you can find BMW up here, then seriously, that'd be a huge help because I, I guess you're going insane. Yeah, I, I can't. I mean, there's no BMW here. Go here, that's <laughs> yeah, top, that's top. years old. Yeah, they even have Miata. Yep. So I've decided to drive all the way out to Van Nuys because I had a pretty negative experience at my dealer last time I tried to service my car. So I had my S-Class, my 2016 S-Class, and it had a light on. It was an airbag light. The car was still under warranty. So I took it in for service and they tried to make up an excuse for why I would have to pay for them to inspect it and their excuse was that the bumper had been repainted and that the car had been in an accident. And when I told them the car had never been in an accident and it wasn't repainted, they wouldn't believe me. They're like, no, it's been in an accident. Our experts said, oh, it's been in an accident. It turns out what they were talking about was simply the Ceramic Pro coating caused this little smudge that they thought was an accident, but they still wouldn't service the car for free. Okay, so the other day, Alex told Amir he said that he should be careful with the amount of times you're doing launch control because I hit the launch control limiter. Now, Road and Track just made an article that said that it's completely false. They said that they talked to Lamborghini, they had, they had watched my video, then talked to Lamborghini, and Road and Track says there is no limiter. What? For a number of you're launch controls. Me. So now I'm super confused. VF thought there was a limiter. It's really weird that the counter would read 250 exactly. Like what are the odds that I did exactly 250 launches and it wouldn't launch any more than that? That's what makes it seem like it has a limiter. But now I am super confused. Road and Track said they spoke to Lambo. That isn't a thing, so. So I could launch it. I could do the I, same I, things I do all the time. Who, who, who do you want to believe? I don't know. I mean, if Lamborghini said they don't have it. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Why doesn't my car launch? According to the user's manual, I am due for service A. That comes up every 10,000 miles or one year. Then when you hit 20,000 miles, that's service B. So service A includes an oil change, an oil filter change, uh, inspection of the brakes. They're also inspecting the fluid levels and then they're gonna reset the maintenance counter. So I'm hoping it's not too expensive, but uh, I may need new brakes as they are starting to squeak. No warning light on the dash yet though. That's a cool shot of the two R8s in the backup camera. <laughs> Necessary. 
Here we go, pulling up to the Mercedes dealership. We've got the support crew and I drop off my car, two Audi R8s. A little excessive, but we're squatting out. All right, see you later. All right, well, I just dropped it off for service. It should actually be done today, and the total came out to $249.99 before tax. Not bad, I didn't get prepaid maintenance like I did on the S-Class, but honestly, for once a year for a service on a car that expensive, not bad at all. Not bad at all, bro. That's very cheap. Everyone thinks AMGs are expensive, this and that, but the difference between the AMG and if that was a regular E300, it's only a $50 service difference. Yeah, the only thing that comes into play is if you need new brakes. The brakes are gonna be expensive. So hopefully I don't need new ones yet. Color on that G-Wagon is sick. It's actually a wrap. It's wrapped? Yeah. Dude, didn't you, what happened to your, your tail lights on your G-Wagon? Don't ask. That's why the car is missing. My viewers don't even know what's going on with okay, that. So okay, basically, all right. it's okay, I'll tell you guys, it's nothing to hide. So I, par I left the car at my friend's house on the street. Sherman Oaks, great area. He lives in like a almost $2 million house. And I come back, literally all my lights are missing. With the fronts too? The front's missing, the front oh. grill guard is missing. Oh no. And the back tire cover is missing, which is apparently $6,000. Oh my God. Yeah, you know, ridiculous, ridiculous. And they broke the window in the back. No way. Yeah, they broke the window to take whatever I have in the car. So I guess this is a common problem with G-Wagons is really the only difference between an older one and not the newest, newest generation, but a 2016 as kind of updates on the headlights and taillights. So some people steal like 2016 headlights and taillights and put them on their on their older G-Wagon. And that's There's just what happened. Here. Oh my God. <laughs> so the main reason behind everyone stealing these lights and these parts are because the G-Wagon has never changed the bus. So it's yeah, been the yeah, same yeah. since like the first time it came out. I think in early 1990s was like the first retail cars. So since then, you can literally take all my parts off and put it on one of those cars and it will fit perfectly fine. And the, the parts are not marked. Like each headlight is like four to $5,000. Oh my God. Yeah, the, the, head, the parts are not marked. There's no VIN number, nothing. That So you sucks. can't tell the parts are stolen. So you can literally take parts off a G-Wagon and sell it online without anyone knowing it's been stolen. Why haven't they fixed that? That's they actually crazy. The 19s. Okay. Now with the 19s, in order to take the lights off, you gotta remove the bumper, it's a headache. Finally, thank God. Are you get you're getting one, right? Yeah, next month. Dude, it is I can't wait. so not the I'm driving great. experience of a new generation G-Wagon is so much nicer than the old one. And the interior is just getting an addition on. Nice. It's matte black with the red accents all over. On the wheels, and on the outside. Yes, yeah, it's nice. Come on, you know, and come on, bro. I didn't even ask. That's going to be sick, dude. And the inside is like a black and red interior with like red seat belts, upgraded performance exhaust, and all sorts of stuff. So I, I'm excited for that. Hell yeah, dude. What is with this rain? This I don't is unbelievable. Un some of the worst things is nobody knows how to drive in the rain in LA because it never rains. They don't and so there's out. just accidents absolutely everywhere. People don't understand that it takes longer to stop when it's wet. People don't understand that the visibility is reduced. You need to drive slower. I just, I don't get it. Unless People just you're freak in out. a V10 four wheel drive R8, you just go like this. <laughs> the traction in this thing is nuts. Oh yeah, it's, it's great. I love it. So it's been a while. I just hit 1.9 million subscribers. I am so thankful for that, guys. Seriously, you passed 15K, which is freaking awesome. You've Thank been you. killing I it on your channel. I'm a little dot in the ocean. But you're killing it. So we decided we are giving away not one, but two Xbox One S's for you guys to play games on. I'm super pumped about this. We just bought them. Check this thing out. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what I just remembered? What? We should probably get some games. Let's go buy Forza. We should get Forza. Let's go buy Forza. I've been right playing now. the new Forza Horizon and it is actually sick. So we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to go back inside and get Forza Horizon. All you have to do to win is subscribe to Vehicle Virgins on YouTube and subscribe to the Car Biz on YouTube as well. I've got links in the description below for that. In seven days, we're gonna be announcing the winner to both of these Xbox ones, two different people, on his Instagram at the Car Biz. Good luck, guys. It's gonna be sick. Well, we weren't allowed to film inside Best Buy for whatever reason, but we got two copies of Horizon 4. I play this game a bunch. It is a ton of fun. So subscribe to me, subscribe to him, and you can win. And the funny thing is, apparently these are really hard to get. 
Yeah, no, it's been sold out for it's a while. Sold out for some reason. We got oh. lucky. We got two. We had to get it from the back. So I just got a call from the dealer with a status update. Two things need to be done in addition to service A. We need a differential service, which is $191 that I guess on the AMG needs to be done at 10,000 miles. And my front brake pads are really low. They're at three millimeters. So I'm not gonna do those at the dealer. I'm gonna get it replaced somewhere else, but the differential service we're gonna go ahead and do. Just finished up eating some amazing Korean barbecue. Apparently my car is gonna be done in 15 minutes and then Amir has this old Dodge Neon that's completely beat up that we're gonna take for a spin. I have no idea what he's talking about but apparently it's crazy. Dude, what is this Neon about? Oh man, my viewers loved it. Really? Oh yeah, you're, they're gonna, they're gonna, you guys are gonna have so much fun. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh a lot too. We should take it to Beverly Hills. Oh my God, that'd be awesome. Yeah, hopefully it starts. We'll I see. think we should pick up uh, some jumper cables just in case. Okay, a little tunnel run action. I mean, if you want to hear it, just I want to hear me. it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> this thing sounds so good. First time I got it, um, I remember the first one of the first questions you asked me. It's actually in the vlog too. You're like, "Are you gonna change the exhaust?" I'm like, "Hell no! It's loud enough. I don't need it louder than this." And yeah, I was revving no. it, but you're like, "Yeah, fair enough. You don't need anything more." But no. Yeah. No, you need an exhaust. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. Pops. Oh. I just love the way it pops. Yeah, that sounds sick. Woo! And they're hearing that with the window up. Yeah. Imagine if the window was down. Back again. There she is. All right, back to EAG we go. Tailing behind that beautiful green R8 check out whatever the heck this neon is. All right, we just showed up to EAG. Amir, what is this neon? What is what is that smile? I can't stop laughing, bro. This is what? So funny. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. When I went to Monterey, I had the Italian stampede stickers on my car. Did you take it on Italian <laughs> stampede? Holy crap. Look at this thing. It runs? Yes. What is a spoiler? Yeah, we did that. so they took the. Windshield. What is that? <laughs> it's a printer box. <laughs> they took the windshield wipers. And they wiped the <laughs> this is ridiculous, bro. <laughs> they took the windshield wipers and they made like this huge wing. It worked, but now obviously it fell off. Damn. It was right here. <laughs> yeah, and we tried doing lime green, so you know it goes. With it the looks good, Verde Mantis. I dig it. How's the interior? <laughs> oh wow, not not great. Does it drive? Yeah, I'm gonna go get the key. Start right. it up. All right, what are we thinking? <laughs> oh man, this might be dirtier than my uh, truck post off roading, but dude, it's pretty gnarly. So has the window been open? Yeah, it's flooded. The nice. seat is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I think it's an active spoiler. Yeah, it's an active arrow. <laughs> It's definitely active in something. Look at that. It's got a watch on it. <laughs> you made a good point. It wasn't in Italian Stampede. It was hit by an Italian Stampede. No way this is starting. There's well, no way. It, the seat's kind of wet because the window was down. So yeah, <laughs> shoot, it's flooded. No flood damage. Use gently. We should Craigslist this. All right, moment of truth. It's leaking. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe give it a little gas. The look at the windshield wipers removing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my oh god! No way! No way! Wow, okay, I was not expecting that to start. <laughs> Bro, it's yo, been off for yo, months. Yo, pop the hood on this thing. Let's uh, see that engine. Are you serious? Are, yeah. Or does it not pop? I don't even know how to pop it. Yeah, right down there. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, it smells, it smells horrible it right now. Though. It did start. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, the windshield wipers kill me. It already says the carb is here. All right, I got the right vehicle. Let me touch up, touch this up a little bit. You know? <laughs> That'll make it look fresh, bro. <laughs> Right, it's just rained. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Maybe it is. Here, where do you want to ride it? 
There's a lot of yeah, flat there's so green. many opportunities. There's a lot of flat green space in the back. Yeah, there's a lot of green. Let's just do it back here. Oh, right here. Oh, fuck. I am way too lazy to ride out that whole thing. It smells so toxic. <coughs> what is wrong with the exhaust? There you go. Okay, creativity. <laughs> Boom. All right, my new project car. It's a little... There you go. Please subscribe. Those of you who have seen my video, then we're jumping on the roof of the car. Uh-huh. I didn't intend to. Yeah, now we got a puddle up there. We got a puddle of water right there. Well, we were gonna go for a epic voyage in this thing, but because it rained, it's literally flooded, and because it was attacked, there is glass all over it. He still wants to go for a ride, but no way, dude. Look at the smoke coming out. Yeah, there's no way we're driving that. <laughs> Well, there you guys have it. The Service A plus the differential service totaled $450. So over the course of a year ownership with this new E63, it has only cost $450 to maintain. Now, I did go through a set of tires, but that was completely my fault. I put it into drift mode way too many times and I roasted the rear tires. I ended up getting a set of all fours that cost $1,600, but in 10,000 miles, I definitely didn't need to do that. Now I do have the front brakes coming up. I was quoted at $650 for the front pads, but I know I can get them cheaper and honestly I can install them myself. So I think that could be a cool video as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video. Hey,